Okay, here we are. All right, do the intro huh? for the video. It's okay, you just have to be comfortable in front of the camera. Hi. Hey everybody, Paul here and welcome back. Tati doesn't really like doing intros, so I'm gonna be introducing the video. Today I wanna to talk about biking across the Cuomo Tappan Zee Bridge. This video is a follow up to the first video I did where I was walking across. I'll link the first video in the description below. And while that was fun, there are two things different this time. In the first video, I was walking across, and it was the middle of the afternoon. This time, I'm biking across, and it's closer to sunset. Walking across the bridge was great and very enjoyable, but I remember thinking to myself how long walking three and a half miles felt, not to mention having to walk back. So this time, I decided to make it a little easier on my feet and bike across. Also going around sunset, I was able to see some great views of the Hudson Valley and the bridge lit up at night. So without further ado, let's get to the video. So it was a really nice evening when we rode across. I found this time of day a lot more enjoyable as there were generally less people on the path. It wasn't as hot and we got to enjoy the sunset. There's a slight incline as you approach the towers. It's nothing too intense, but you'll definitely have to pedal a little harder. The bike path itself is fairly narrow with just enough room for two bikers to pass each other. Pedestrians do occasionally cross into the bike lane, so keep an eye on your speed and definitely remain alert. No texting and biking. Once you pass the towers, it's pretty much all downhill for the most part until you reach the rocket landing in Nyack. It's very easy to pick up speed at this point, so keep that in mind for sure. I'd recommend a bell, a flashing light, or maybe even an air horn if you really want to piss some people off and get their attention to alert them when they veer into the bike lane. The traffic can be really loud at times, making it difficult for your voice to be heard. This part is relatively flat and easy riding. Beautiful view of the sunset, as you can see.
So here's an example of where you have to be very careful. Two kids just veered into the bike lane without warning. And again, just watch your speed. And parents, please keep your young children close by. In the two times that I've used this path, I've witnessed four accidents, I shit you not. Most involved children who lost their balance or caught their handlebars on the barrier or something. But due to how narrow the path is, I feel this may become a common occurrence. And here we are approaching the Rockland Landing in Nyack. This is a little uphill, by the way. Coming up here is where you have to be careful. You'll see Tati almost collides with two women right here. Oh, whoops, yep, that's right, you're in the way. 